Hey everyone, I'm Soham and today we learn how to deploy and run a Java Spring Boot application to Google App Engine. We'll start by getting an overview of the App Engine platform and what it does. We'll also create our first App Engine instance on the Google Cloud dashboard. Next, we'll look at a sample Java application and how we can deploy it to App Engine so that you can access it through a public URL. Finally, we'll see how we can manage different versions of our application and migrate traffic between them. App Engine is a managed serverless platform that lets you deploy and run your own applications while managing infrastructure operations. This means that you only need to manage your application code while App Engine will take care of provisioning the actual servers and deploying and hosting your application on those servers. It also manages scaling, versioning, and traffic allocation, which frees up your time as a developer. When you go to the App Engine dashboard for the first time, you'll get a prompt to create a new App Engine application. After selecting the cloud region, you'll have to enter the language and environment. Since we'll deploy using the command line, you can choose I'll do this later. Finally, you'll see a welcome page, which means you're ready to start using App Engine. Let's create a sample Spring Boot application that we can deploy on App Engine. Our project folder follows the standard Spring Boot template and will contain a source directory with the Java code for our HTTP routes, along with a pom.xml file used to build our application with Maven. You can go to the links in the description to see more details on the project structure and source code. For now, this application contains a basic get simple request route that returns OK as a text response. The get mapping annotation here indicates that this method should be called when handling get requests to the simple request endpoint. In this case, we just return the OK string which gets rendered as a plain text response. Now we can deploy our Java application as an App Engine service. First, we need to install the gcloud command line tools. If you haven't done this already, I've added a link to the instructions in the description. Next, we need to log in to access our Google Cloud projects by running gcloud auth login. After logging in, we need to enable the cloud build API. This is used to build your Java code into an executable that can be run as an App Engine service. You may need to enable billing in order to use this. Finally, we can execute the deploy command from within our project directory where the pom.xml file exists. Once this runs successfully, you should get a success message with some information about your application. This will include your application's public URL as well. In the background, our source code files were uploaded to Google Cloud Storage and our Java application was built using Cloud Build. Finally, the built application was deployed and run on App Engine. The target URL tells us where our application is deployed. Since we defined a handler for the simple request route, we can make a get HTTP request and see our sample response. Our application is now live on App Engine. Let's see how to make changes in our code and redeploy an updated version of our application. Throughout the application development process, we can expect to make several changes to our code base. App Engine provides tools for managing the different versions of our code base and rolling out new versions in a production safe manner. As an example, let's add another HTTP route to our demo application class. We can pass the name of the URL param that we want as an argument to the request param annotation. The value will be stored in the annotated variable. The response will be echo followed by the param that was passed in. Let's redeploy the application once more using the gcloud app deploy command. If you look closely, the target version has changed. We can see this by looking at the version number that was assigned when it was deployed the first time as compared to what it is now. The new version will now be available on the same URL as before. So we can now call the echo HTTP route with some sample text and see the response as expected. We can view the different available versions of our application in the App Engine versions dashboard. Here we can see that all of our traffic is currently routed to the newly deployed version. 
App Engine lets us migrate traffic back to another version using the version's dashboard. For example, the latest version of our application may have a bug and we would want to revert to a previous and more stable version. We can do this by selecting the version that we want to migrate to and clicking on the Migrate Traffic button. The dashboard will indicate once the traffic has been migrated back to the previous version. Now if we call the same URL, the code of the previous version will execute instead. App Engine allows you to deploy and run your application without having to manage the underlying infrastructure. In this tutorial, we learned how to deploy a Java Spring Boot application to our own App Engine instance. We've only scratched the surface so far, and there's a lot more we can do to make our application production ready. For example, we can use the App Engine dashboards and cloud logging to better monitor traffic and errors that may occur in our application. We can also set up auto-scaling or specify the number of instances manually to accommodate more traffic as more users start using our application. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one.